In the face of climate change and the growing need for resilience, the Water Resource Management Agency marked World Water Day with an open day at their headquarters in Union, showcasing the importance of water conservation in sustaining our natural ecosystem. The event featured a range of engaging educational activities, included interactive exhibitions, presentations, and demonstrations aimed at inspiring and educating the local community, particularly school children, on the crucial role of water in ensuring food security and rural development. Director of the Water Resource Management Agency, Jason Ernest, emphasized the need for all St. Lucians to play their part in conserving this precious resource. Water is fundamental to all aspects of life. It is a human right. It is at the core of sustainable development. It is cross-cutting, the foundation of all sectors, and key to the success of the other 16 sustainable development goals. A lack of water disrupts lives, causes death, lost productivity, and economic downturn. World Water Day falls within the calendar of events for St. Lucia, I think, at, I think at an opportune time. This is at the height of the dry season, and I am pretty sure persons are aware of the changes to the landscape. It is a reminder that water may need to be managed attentively, especially at a household level in these times. But unfortunately, this is something that must be done all year round. Despite some advancements in achieving universal coverage and the Sustainable Development Goal 6, the open day held under the theme Accelerating Change highlights the urgent need to increase the rate of progress. Research officer at the Department of Forestry, Carl Monty Augustine, in speaking in solidarity with the WRMA, stressed the crucial link between water and forests in conserving our natural resources as he reflected on the recent celebrations of World Forest Day. He says the event serves as a reminder of the importance of working together to protect the planet's ecosystems and achieve a sustainable future for all. Whatever we do on the land, or whatever form our management of the land takes, has a direct impact on the water. Both the water from the water that we are able to get to consume, the potable water, but also the water that is used for the ecological services and so on. So, for example, we all love our seafood, right? And we, we partake in that as, as a nation, right? Um, but if there is no proper management of the surface water on land, there are ne cascading negative um, impacts on the water quality in the ocean, the near marine environment, which, is, which um, transfers to impact on the quality of the fish that we are getting, impact of the water for um, recreational use and so on. Right? So it is important that um, our two agencies continue to work um, together, to work um, in partnerships. As the Ministry of Agriculture, Fisheries, Food Security and Rural Development continues its efforts to reach its targets and address the challenges posed by climate change, water conservation remains a critical priority for ensuring a thriving and resilient nation. From the Communications Unit of the Ministry of Agriculture, I am Anisia Anton reporting.